The final race of the week for me will be the Ludlow Maiden Hurdle. Three and a quarter miles a long way for a hurdler. This one, Daniel Garcia, Matt Cooper, Dark and Tribulation, James Shane, Miller Light and Nick Cricket. For Adam Old, Ronaldo, Matt Cooper, the go-between. Martin Leland, the Ross Meister, Padre Hogan and Agnetta's Eagle. For Graham Clutterbuck, a field of eight. Pulled in and away, predominantly red colours as well, by the looks of things. A couple of splashings of green and yellow there, and one little bit of black, and that's your lot. So they get the first of the 17th, and they're all safely over that one with the go between refusing to settle, pulling for its head. Wants to go quicker than the jockey wants to let it. Come down to the second. I'm guessing with this being three miles too fast, quite a lot of these are probably going to be chasers just in to get a bit of a mark over hurdles, but a great deal of. I suppose to get them into the three mile handicaps, wouldn't it? The handicapping rules is not going to be many, if any, hurdle races longer than this one. There's Nick Cricket in front, the rest of them are in a higgledy piggledy National Hunt start line. For want of a better description, Nick Cricket in the lead. Two circuits ahead of them. Probably take longer to run this than a 2020 cricket match. Anyway, Miller Lights in second. And Daniel Garcia and Ronaldo back in fourth. So he doesn't wear himself out before the football later. And Nick Cricket is in front. Daniel Garcia and Miller Light. And Dark and Tribulation and Ronaldo. With the Ross Meister after that one and then. The go between is maybe settled a bit now, got a bit of cover. And Agnetta's Eagle is just the back marker. And we're number five, they go. We'll safely over the fifth. Nick Cricket by three. Daniel Garcia, two lengths clear of Miller Light. back in fourth the dark and tribulation is after that one then the go between and finally the Ross Meister and Agnetta's Eagle the back marker jockey on the leader I'm to look around there see how far in front he is or oh, maybe see where his stable mate is if he's in there to be the one that tows that one along which will always be the case of course making sure the pace is strong makes it a stiff test of stamina rather than allowed a non-stay has turned it into a crawl and a sprint I'm not sure those SO7 trainers put that much thought into it though to do things like that I've tried it once on a flat race it totally backfired and Nick Cricket is four lengths clear. Daniel Garcia up with a five furlong sprinter in two miler to try and make sure it was a real proper run race. And one well, five furlong sprinter was so so they couldn't get into the lead. Well, I'll do better over the obstacles. Anyway, Nick Cricket is well clear at the moment. Over number nine from Daniel Garcia. Ronaldo is third. Miller Light fourth as they get to the tenth. Is that all over? And they're quite more strong out now. They're going to quite past the stand. One more inch to go, or one more circuit to go. And Ronaldo's moved into second. Daniel Garcia is third. Miller Light is fourth. And then sort of dark and tribulation. Then the Ross Meister in the yellow jacket, followed by the go between. And finally, Agnetta's Eagle has been at the back all the way so far and it's got a perfect view of what everybody else is up to they get over the 11th you're just slowing the pace down a bit on the leader and a bit of a breather with nine to go he's by a Two and a half lengths, I'd say, to Ronaldo and Daniel Garcia. On the outside, Dark and Tribulation. And the go between trying to get into it on the outside. The Ross Mice is going to try and come between horses, I think. Miller Light is stuck on the inside, and Agnetta's Eagle is still at the back, but it's 
close to the leader she's been in the race so far. This next flight will be the 13th of the 17th. And the Rossmeister's come through in a second as they take that 13th. They will now definitely starting to close and bunch up. Nick Cricket leads by two lengths almost. To Dark and Tribulation, the Ross Meister and the go between virtually in a line. Ronaldo is behind them. Daniel Garcia just lost a couple of lengths. Then comes Agnetta's Eagle, who's getting a bit closer. Miller Light's probably the first one beaten as they get over the 14th. They've got three more to take there now, and Nick Creed is hanging on in the lead by a length and a half to the Ross Meister, who's gone second. Then comes Dark and Tribulation. Ronaldo is next, and then Persian. I'm um, sort of the go-between on the outside. The ones that are struggling now. Daniel Garcia, Agnetta's Eagle and Miller Light out the back. But Nick Cricket's kicked on again as they go down towards the next. It's Nick Cricket who's suddenly gone three to four lengths clear again. There's still three furlongs to go. The Ross Meister is second. The go-between is in third. Then Dark and Tribulation and Ronaldo. Agnetta's Eagle is trying to run on again. Nick Cricket in front. Still got three to get over. The Ross Meister is now coming around to take it up. Then the Ross Meister hits the front over the third last from Ronaldo in second. Then comes the go between on the outside. Dark and Tribulation is next. Here comes Agnetta's Eagle on the outside. Absolutely flying, but Ronaldo's gone to the lead. Yes, Ronaldo gets over the second last in front from Agnetta's Eagle and the go between. Dark and Tribulation is next. They're racing down towards the final flight, and it's Ronaldo. Ronaldo lands in front, but a better jump by Dark and Tribulation. And Dark and Tribulation is coming to challenge Ronaldo. And Dark and Tribulation pokes its head in front. And Dark and Tribulation is going to take it. Dark and Tribulation wins it. Ronaldo second, Agnetta's as Eagle is back in third, close to a fourth, probably just the go between from Daniel Garcia and all the way back to the long time leader Nick Cricket and Miller Light, who never really got going in the end. But Ronaldo will probably claim foul, but Dark and Tribulation has taken it. For James Shea, Ronaldo second for Matt Cooper, Agnetta's Eagle for Graham Clisbert was third, the go between. For Marshall Lee was fourth, and Daniel Garcia for Matt Cooper was fifth. That's it. Be done for the week. I'll see you all next week.